And this is the bond chart, the 30-year bond and the price down. And granted, it's way out, so it's got a big move versus the two-year or the 10-year. But all we need to know is this is a pretty elegant chart. M uh, Michael Darden, does this scream higher yields to come? Uh, not necessarily, Tom. I, I think the situation in the bond market is simply this. Economic growth has accelerated, and now bond yields <clears throat> have moved back up to levels we haven't seen since 2014. It shouldn't be surprising that the last time nominal and real growth rates mm -hmm. were as strong as they've been recently, bond yields were pushing 3%. So, you know, this is an economic acceleration story, but to call for higher yields from here, right. I think you have to be willing to bet that you know, this transition into faster growth will sustain right. itself through the year and into next year. We think next year will be slower on the back of the lagged effects of additional Fed tightening. So my position is we're probably getting to the top okay. end of the range on the 10-year. Dr. Here. Weinberg, Mr. Darda doesn't want to look at the Hicksian ISL model, so <laughs> I'm doing it with you. Fiscal stimulus, fiscal stimulus <clears throat> and more fiscal stimulus. Do you link what Washington has wrought into these higher yields, and then can they push ever higher? Yeah, well, come on, Tom, finish the sentence, okay? Fiscal stimulus at a time when we're already at full employment, when we're already growing fast enough to keep the unemployment rate going down, according to the jobless claims and everything we're looking at. What your chart is telling us is that the market is looking for a little bit more inflation. They're pretty much convinced that the Fed's going to hike rates, and they're pretty much convinced that growth is going to continue for a while. So. Probably there are higher, I'm sorry to tell you this, but probably there are higher yields coming in our future. Not necessarily a lot. Jim O'Sullivan, our chief U.S. economist at high frequency, looks at past periods of Fed tightening, and you don't necessarily have to have a, a, a sell-off in the bond market. It doesn't have to be a big one. But right now, you really want to look for reasons for yields not to go higher rather than for, you know, mm. you know are they going to go higher or not?